What's going on gangsters? Greg Scott here. So today, we're back in the Gaines kitchen for some nutrition gains. It's been a little while since I made one of these videos. A lot of you guys request and ask, what do I eat? What does my diet looks like? And I need to get groceries, so it's perfect. So this is gonna be just a super chill video. I guess you can call it like a vlog style. Now, I'm not like the best vlogger. I'm not gonna heavily edit or anything like that, but just the main thing I wanna get out of this video is just to show you what I get at the grocery store, then I think I'm gonna come home and show you one of my gains meals. So, let's do it. So this is how my refrigerator is looking right now. It's kinda sad. So I just have a couple pieces of salmon here. I have some frozen fruit, some water, and then down here I have just like some a few vegetables, some tomatoes, some spinach, mushrooms, salad, some water, then just sauce and stuff right here. So it's kind of looking sad, but it's all good. We're gonna go to the grocery store. Oh, and for all my real ones, look. Wait, hold my camera focuses. Go make disciples of all nations. That's the goal, right? In my pantry, what I have right now, I just have some canned vegetables. I have some. Um, some noodles when I feel like getting fancy, just whole grain, spaghetti noodles, some pasta noodles. I have some, uh, a lot of rice, brown rice, jasmine rice, you know, on deck all day. Uh, some pasta sauce, spaghetti sauce, some bread, and just down there I have some more canned vegetables and beans. So, as you can see, like, super simple. Oh, and I have a confession to make. I am human, I'm not a robot. Gotta keep one hundo with y'all, so. This morning I had some donuts. I had quite a few actually. There was 12, now there are five, and this remaining five, yeah, it's, it's, it's going down, so. You know those fitness YouTubers that are just constantly in the mirror, just flexing, and you're like, you know, my triceps, they've been feeling a little small, but my, my abs are popping, like, how do, they, how do people do that? Hmm? So I purposely live on the fourth floor of my apartment building so that I always have to, every time I leave or enter, you know, go up four or five stairs. I don't take the elevator. Just a gains tip, you know, putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation, Ooh, almost fell, so that you can be better. So you guys already know I'm driving the Ferrari since I'm getting millions of YouTube views. So just listen how it starts up. Listen to that power. Woo! It's like it's like 500 horsepower right there. All right, so made it to Kroger's. All right, so I'm just gonna pick up a few things. I'll try to give y'all some gains tips along the way and see how it goes. All right, so first is gonna be my fruit. Since I was severely lacking of fruit, I didn't have any. So you know that I'm always doing my smoothie in the morning. So I do a smoothie with like bananas, strawberries. So I'm just gonna start off by getting some strawberries. So grapes are a super healthy snack. You know, it's better than snacking on like chips or candy or stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bag of grapes. Bananas, the main ingredient for my smoothies. So I can go ahead and get two bunches of that. Next is my avocado. So I always gotta stack up on those for those good omega-3s and those good healthy fats. So here's how it's looking so far, straight gains. All right, so I'm also gonna grab some onions. So just arming myself with a variety of fruits and vegetables so I can mix it up and so I can get a good mix of micronutrients. All right, guys, so I have a quick gains tip that I wanna share with you. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to get shredded, right, it's a constant battle. It's a constant battle of if you can stay disciplined, if you can stop yourself from going to get donuts, you know, just stuff like that. So think of the grocery store as a battlefield, right? It all starts here, what you put into your body. If you don't go crazy here, if you don't, you know, go buy those chips and buy the sodas and all that stuff, you won't have it at home later to just overindulge on, right? So if you can stay disciplined here, you can set yourself up for success later. So that's super important. Think of the grocery store as a battlefield, right? So it all starts here. All right, so. Of course, water is essential. We want to make sure that we stay stocked up on that always. You know, we want to avoid sugary drinks, all the processed stuff. All right, so now we start to get into enemy territory. This is when many soldiers have fallen when you start getting to the chips and the cookies and all the seemingly goodness. So here's another gains tip for you, right? So to make ultimate. 
To make ultimate gains, eventually you want to get to the point where you're not eating any fast food, you're not eating any junk. But if you're somebody that does that regularly, it's unrealistic to say that you're going to go from all this junk food to just nothing, to just stop me completely. So what you do is you wean yourself off of it. So if you're the person that comes to the store and gets two bags of chips and gets two bags of candy, the next time you come, tell yourself, okay, I'm only going to allow myself one bag of chip and one bag of candy, and that's going to last me all the way until I come to the store next time, right? So already you've cut the negative gains in half. It's just all about discipline, right? So if you come to the store and you get chips and you get cookies, tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna make myself choose. I'm gonna choose either the chips or the cookies. That's gonna last me until I come next time. It's just all about making the right choices and setting yourself up for success. I'm feeling pretty good right now, so honestly, like, I don't even have a taste for any of these chips or any cookies or anything, so I'm gonna skip that, but it doesn't happen all the time. Maybe because I had donuts earlier. Actually, that's probably, I know that's what it is. I had donuts earlier. All right, so it's now starting to get into my main sources of protein, and for me, that's gonna be chicken breast, right? So, you can get your protein from a lot of different places, but for me, it's just chicken breast. I only had a couple pieces of salmon earlier, so I'm also gonna get some of that. All right, and lastly, I'm going to get some shrimp. And all that's gonna last me for a long time. Okay, I'm also going to grab some eggs. Some mornings I just like to do a, a good omelet, good vegetable, spinach omelet. All right, and whoop, there it is. That pretty much completes it. So let's recap real quick. So I have my chicken breasts, I have my salmon, some sparkling waters, some fruit under there, some grapes, my strawberries, bananas, onions. Down here I have eggs and water. And that's gonna last me a long time. And I already have like my rice and stuff at home. I have some vegetables there, so I'm Gucci. As you can see, I just keep it simple, but I keep it gainful. That's how you do it. All right, so got all my groceries. Now we're back in the Gaines kitchen. And like I said earlier, I'm just gonna show you guys the meal that I do. And hopefully you can just start to get thinking, start to get some ideas. So let's see what we have on the menu. All right, so here's what we're looking at here. It's super simple, super gainful. It's gonna take me <clears throat> like less than 10 minutes to cook. So this chicken here, I'm gonna uh, put in the pot. I'm gonna cook these vegetables as well, the tomato, the onions, the spinach. I have some wraps here, which I'm just gonna put everything inside. So it's gonna be super simple. It takes less than 10 minutes and it's gonna be good. Just listen. This sounds like beans. <laughs> All right, and whoop, there it is. So I cut up the avocado, put it on top of there. The vegetables are in there, and then the chicken is underneath. So super simple, quick, easy, gainful, and delicious. And ah. I don't know, I gotta work on my presentation. I always try to make it look good and it doesn't turn out that way, but oh well, it's gonna be on my stomach in like two minutes. Maybe one. All right, Gucci, thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something good. So I want you to remember my gains tips, right? So gains tip number one is half the battles at the grocery store. If you can win there, you'll set yourself up for success later. You'll build good habits and you'll be that much closer to ultimate gains, all right? And the gains tip number two. So don't just make dramatic changes in your diet, right? It's not about dramatic changes. It's about that 1%, you know, those small things that make a big difference. So if you're doing cookies and ice cream every single day, just cut out the cookies and just do the ice cream. Then eventually you get rid of the ice cream altogether. But just small changes that make a big difference. And most most importantly, gains to number three, I didn't say this one, but just keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Just eat good whole food and you'll be on your way. All right, so thanks again for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Hit me on Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram. Feel free to ask me any questions. And as always, as always, as always, have a gainful day.